What's up, Majestic Squad? I am about to do a video. This video is a very touchy video, you feel me? This video basically tells a lot of my business, but <clears throat> not a lot, but a lot of my business. But I feel like this subject, a lot of young girls, young mothers, like, a lot of girls, I feel like, can relate to this. You feel me? Because, you know, when I tell y'all all of this, I want y'all to understand that I know that everything is going to get better. You feel me? I know that I'm going to, you know, eventually move on in life and find, you know, that good person for me. But... This is basically what's led to me doing my YouTube channel. What also led to me being a stripper and also, you know, how it is as a single mother and when you have to deal with postpartum. Postpartum is very, very serious. I definitely want to talk about postpartum because a lot of mothers, I don't think y'all have people to talk to. I don't think y'all have people to talk to that can, that y'all can really relate to when it comes to that postpartum. Like, that postpartum is a different type of world. It's a different type of pain. Like, it's a different type of crazy. And you're really not crazy. You're not crazy. You're just depressed as shit. I mean, it happens. For the most part, I'm pretty happy and perky, but still. Like, you know, I just had a baby. My baby is seven months old. You know, I plan my life with his father, you feel me? Me, I didn't want kids. I didn't want kids. But when I got with his father, we decided to have my son. So, boom, my son came. But when I became a mother, you know, I went through a lot. You know, like, like I went through a lot. And I'm not bashing my son's father because I will always love him. You feel me? I always love him. He gave me my first son. He gave me my first child. Um, but, you know, you know, this is a part of me accepting my new truth like this is my new present like this is what I have to deal with now like, like I never thought that I would be a single mother you feel me I never thought that being in this relationship would would put me in a position to have to raise my child by myself you feel me like I never thought that that could happen to me but men don't understand the type of pressure that they put on us women like the things we do for them like i didn't have my son for him i had my son for us you feel me because i wanted my son too but we went through so much when i was pregnant with my son like i spent a lot of my pregnancy by myself i spent a lot of my pregnancy by myself so it was very kind of depressing for me like just becoming a mother being by myself like me and my baby daddy we broke up so like I didn't really have nobody to cling on to. I mean, I was with my mama and everything, but at that time, you know, I ain't want her. You feel me? Like, I, I wanted my baby daddy. I was one of them. I'm one of them bitches. I, want, I wanted my baby daddy. Like, I didn't want to be with nobody else. Um, but when I was pregnant, it's like a craving. But anyway, we're going to move past that. You know, I went through a lot of harsh things when I got pregnant with my son. So when he came into the world... And my baby daddy ran, like, took the fuck off. That shit hit me hard. That shit hit me hard. That shit blindsided me. Like, that shit will blindside you. And girls, I know some of y'all can agree. That shit will blindside the fuck out of you. Like, especially when you love this person. Like, when you really have a lot, a lot of love for this person and you're expecting this person to be there with you, you know, this is something new for both of y'all. But a lot of men, as soon as that baby get here, y'all stick around for like the first two months and y'all gone. Y'all niggas take off. Like, I know I'm not the only female, you know, that's dealt with this. You feel me? I know I'm not the only female that's dealt with this. It's a lot of mothers now that are single fucking mothers. My mama was a single mama, so I understand. You know, his mama, my son's father, his mama was a single mother, so I understand. Like, 
just becoming a single mother, especially because I didn't want that. You feel me? I thought I was going to have, like, you know how we all think. We all think we're going to have the fairy tale, you know, the mama, the daddy. You know, y'all going to be a family. Y'all going to work together. Y'all going to figure it out together. Uh Uh-uh. If you have that, you're blessed. Never complain about it. You're fucking blessed. You really are. If you have that, you're blessed. But... Even us who don't have it, we're blessed too. Because maybe, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, I feel like my son came into my life to to, uh, change it. He came into my life to change it. Because I wasn't living how I should have been. Like, you know, when I was... I'm only 21. I'm only 21, y'all. But when I was 18, 19, I was lit. Okay? (laughs) And I think my son came into my life to uh, basically slow me down. You know, put me in park, slow me down. Um, and he has done that. He has really drastically changed my life. I make better life decisions for him. But the reason I decided to become a stripper is because I'm a single mother. You feel me? Because I don't get that help. Now, his family, they're helpful. They help when I need them. Like, when I really need them, they do help. You feel me? I don't really have to worry about anything with them. Um, they're, they're a blessing. So I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not getting zero help at all. But for the most part, you know, I'm his mama. I got to do everything for him. And that's just facts. But um, the reason I decided to become a dancer was because, like I said in my first video, I tried it before. When I was 18, 19, I was just getting ready to turn 19, I think. No, I was 18. I was 18, and I went to the strip club, and I was trying to be a dancer, honey, y'all. But I was working. I was working full-time at, um, I worked at the hospital here. Yes, y'all, I had a job at the hospital. But um, I worked there full-time. Like, I was working there 12 days on, like, only had two days off every 12 days. Like, I was there every day. So, I didn't have time to be no stripper then. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I was trying to go to sleep. <laughs> I didn't have time then, but now, fast forward to now, you know, like, considering all the heartbreak I done been through already, and considering, you know, the postpartum depression that I deal with, um, because, you know, everybody's hit them, everybody's is different, you know, mine's hit me hard, you know, like, I know sometimes some mothers, I know y'all have that feeling like, like, damn, like, you love your kids, it's never, it's never nothing against the child. Let's just let me make that very clear. It's never anything against the child. We love our kids. We'll never harm our kids. Some bitches, y'all crazy. Y'all be beating shit out y'all kids. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't even fuss at my son. He gonna cry. But <laughs> I I don't do that. But um yeah, like a lot of y'all, y'all, a lot of girls go through a heartbreak and they just start mistreating the children. You feel me? But when I went through this heartbreak, I ain't mistreat my son. But, you know, sometimes being by myself, dealing with postpartum by myself, you know, having to deal with all these new changes in my life by myself. um, You know, sometimes you get that feeling like, damn, what if I didn't have this baby? Or, or damn, why did I have a baby with this nigga? <laughs> or like, or you'd be like, dang, like, I don't want, I don't want to do this. But then, you know, you look at your baby, you look at their smile, how much they love you. And, of course, you change your mind very drastically because um, they're your heart. You feel me? You birthed that. You feel me? You almost lost your life for that. Like, when I had my son, I almost, I went through 30 hours of labor with my son. I carried him all the way to his due date. He came on his due date. I went through 40 hours of labor. Oh, hold on, y'all. I went through 40 hours of 30. I said, I said 40. That's drastic. Um, 30. That's a lot too. But um, I went through 30 hours of labor with my son. Natural labor. I did a water birth. I'll share that. I'll share that on here. If y'all want me to uh share like pictures and shit from my when I had my son, y'all let me know. Cause I did a water birth, but I ended up having him in the bed because I wanted the epidural, y'all. I said, fuck it. <laughs> But I didn't even get the epidural. My baby came out natural and healthy and fat. Um, but if y'all want me to share that, I will. I have, like, pictures, videos, everything of my water birth. So, yeah. Y'all let me know. 
oh yeah, I might see my baby daddy in some of them pictures, y'all. He was there. He was there for the whole thing. I give him that shout out. I give him that. But you know, being a single mother now, and like I said, I'm not bashing him because I'm pretty sure as a young man becoming a father, that shit is scary. And it's scary for me too, but I ain't run. You feel me? I'm here. I'm here every day. But, you know, I try to be understanding, but at the same time, I'm crazy. I'll be fucking blanking. But <laughs> I'm crazy. Y'all. I'll be fucking blanking. But like now, you know, I have to let that go, which is why, like I said, y'all back on topic, which is why I chose to dance. I chose to dance because I feel like that's my break. You feel me? That's my break. You feel me? I have my son every day. Every day, all day. That's my baby. He's with me every day, all day. He's only been away from me. And when he leave me, he only leave me for two days. I don't let my son leave me no longer than two days, y'all. He's only away from me for two days. But he's only been away from me and stayed off away from me maybe five times in his seven months of life. So, he actually just got back. Um, he went to Virginia for Thanksgiving. But he just got, he came back Saturday. But yeah, like you feel me? I had a, I have a, I'm a mom. You feel me? I'm a mom, mom. So being a stripper for me, like that's freeing. You feel me? Like that's something I can, like I like I can clear my mind when I'm in there dancing. You feel me? When I'm making money at that, I mean that's the plus. The plus is the money, but like just to get up there and dance and you kind of watch yourself. And you got people watching you, you know, girls cheering you on and stuff like that. Like, that's my girl time, you feel me? Because I ain't going to hang out with these girls when I leave this building. I don't hang out with them when I leave the building. But listen, while we in here, we're going to have fun. So, like, it's, it's freeing. Like, I like being a dancer. It's very freeing for me. Um, Right now, I was supposed to be dancing this past weekend, but... I had a situation, y'all. Let me tell y'all about my situation. See, see, I was supposed to be talking, giving y'all some advice. Hopefully, I'll take it. If you don't, okay, well, if y'all want me to do a new video on it, then I will. But I'm going to post this anyway, just so y'all can see me, who I am. You know, I'm not afraid to talk about, you know, being hung up on my son's father or being a single mother or going through postpartum or being a stripper. Like, I'm not afraid to talk about stuff like this. Sexual experiences. I ain't gonna tell y'all all my sexual experiences. But I got stories for days. So if y'all want a story time, y'all gotta y'all gotta ask questions. And if y'all want a story time on it, then I'll do a story time on it. Y'all just let me know. Because I got hella stories. <laughs> I got so many stories, y'all. Y'all, I would do a story time. Y'all just gotta ask me, like, I, I can't, I got so many, I can't just, I can, but no. But yeah, anyway, 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 anyway. Like, yeah, being a stripper, I love it. It's it's fun. It's friend. I like to get cute. I like to get sexy because most of the time, I'm sitting in the house with a baggy ass t-shirt on with, with baby food stains and, and, and drool and throw up and he don't even spit up out. He don't spit up anymore, actually. But when he did. And, but he drools really bad, so I got drools and just pampers, wipes, toys, shit in my bed, books. Like I'm, I, I'm a mama, y'all. Like I got, I got all this shit in my bed. Like y'all, look at my baby hat. He got a lanky hat there. Um, like I got all this shit in my bed. Like I'm a mama for real. So being a stripper, like that's I don't gotta take no damn pamper. I don't gotta take no wife. <laughs> All I gotta take is me, myself, and I, and we just gonna rock out like that. Like I don't have to take all the extra stuff with me. You feel me? Like I don't gotta watch my son because I know he at home sleep with my mama. You feel me? Like I don't have to do all the extras. So this like. I like it. I don't know. I like it. I do it for the fun. I don't really. I do it for the fun, and then I know eventually, once I get my poetry right, I'm gonna be a fire ass stripper. Y'all, y'all gonna come see me. Y'all better come see me. But I'm, I know I'm gonna be a fire ass stripper though. I ain't worried about that, y'all. Cause if I if I if I learn how to do it, I'm a problem. 
Man, I know how to do everything. If you show me how to do it, I can do it. Easy. Like, I just can't dance. I can dance, like move my body, but I can't like Millie Rock and Dougie and shit like that. I can't do that. <laughs> I have no type of nothing like, let me my tattoo, y'all. It's a uh, hummingbird. My best friend got one in the middle of her chest. Hers is bigger, though. I'm going to show you my best friend one of these days. But hers is, like, in the middle of her chest. But that's, like, the only tattoo she have up there. And she got, like, her sign. But me, I got my sisters. I got my sisters. I got two sisters. Three sisters, really. But I got two sisters. Two blood sisters. Sabrina and my little sister, Lauren. Yeah, that's, that's my headache. But... Yeah, I keep getting off topic, y'all, but, but yeah, so, um, I'll do a video on my tattoos later, because I'm getting ready to get some new ones. I When I get my new ones, then I'm going to do a, a tattoo video, and I'm going to just tell y'all the meaning behind all my tattoos. Um, I don't know, I'm lit, I'm lit for this YouTube, what y'all think? If y'all fucking with me, let me know, because I keep posting, I keep making videos, it's whatever y'all want, for real. It's whatever y'all want. If y'all fucking with me, YouTube, let's get this. Let's do it. What y'all want to see, what y'all want to do. I'm going to try to get the dance footage, y'all. I am. I'm getting ready to get me an apartment. That's going to be coming soon, so y'all keep watching. Keep watching, because I'm getting ready to find me my, an apartment, me and my baby. But, yeah, like, y'all let me know what's up. Like, if y'all want me to talk about this subject more because i know i said some stuff but i ain't say a whole lot of stuff but i said some stuff so yeah y'all just let me know what y'all really want to what do y'all really want to know and then like like i said what do y'all want to see like i can cook y'all but don't think i'm finna be making a bunch of cooking videos and shit for y'all okay i'm not doing all that i might but i ain't doing all of that I'm about to run out of time. So, y'all like this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you're going to fuck with me, fuck with me. If not, fade away. Because that is the motto. That's going to be the motto. Y'all put that in the comments. That's the motto. If you're going to fuck with me, fuck with me. If not, fade away. If I get merch, that's what it's going to say. Bye, y'all.